Hello, I'm Jessica, talking about anxiety. Now, if you or someone you know suffers from anxiety, you'll know that it affects everything in your life. Your ability to relax, to think straight, to make decisions. It affects your ability to enjoy yourself, to be happy. You may know someone who is a real worrier and assume that they suffer from anxiety. Let's say that a friend of yours has to be somewhere abroad in a, a couple of weeks' time. The flight leaves Heathrow at 6am. Your friend decides to go the day before and stay overnight near the airport in case it's snowing on the day. Now, it's not out of the realms of possibility at the end of January. If it's snowing or icy, his journey to the airport may be delayed or cancelled and he'll miss his flight. Oh, what a worrier going up there the day before. Is he a warrior or is he a good planner? He assesses the risk and takes the appropriate action. So someone that you consider to be a warrior isn't necessarily anxious, although of course they may be. Anxiety is something different to worrying. When we worry, we worry about something. When we have anxiety, it may not have an obvious cause. It doesn't seem to be about a thing necessarily. I mean, let's say you wake up at 2am feeling really anxious and you don't know what it's about and it feels odd to have that feeling without something to pin it on. So you have a meeting the next day, so you might pin it on that. You get more and more anxious about this meeting when in reality it wasn't actually a problem for you before. The physical symptoms of anxiety might be sweating, headache, feeling sick, palpitations and lots of other symptoms. Anxiety can really take over your life and there can be many causes for it. But you don't have to live with it, know that. We can get to the bottom of it and release you of it. How wonderful would that be just to bob along through life not having to deal with your anxiety on top of, well, on top of everything else that life throws at you? Don't feel that it's just you and that's the way you are. Don't imagine that there's nothing you can do about it even though at the moment you can't imagine how you can get rid of it. You can get rid of it and you don't have to deal with it alone. I encourage you to talk to someone about it, whether it's you uh, who's experiencing this, or, uh, experiencing this or someone else that you know, it's very difficult to deal with this sort of thing on your own. If you'd like some help then please do get in touch and we can talk about how I might be able to help you through this. Otherwise I wish you all the best and do remember that you don't have to face this alone. So thanks for listening. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye for now.